Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be switching gears back to DWG TrueView and we're going to be looking at how to measure the area of an object within TrueView. So this should be a pretty quick lesson, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. And before we get started, please consider subscribing to the channel. We're close to a thousand subscribers. It means a lot to me. It shows me how the videos are doing. If you like the video, give it a like down below. If you want to see something else done in either AutoCAD or TrueView, leave it in the comments. And if you think someone else could use this video or find it helpful, give it a share as well. All right, so as you can see here, we have a few different polygons within our TrueView viewport. And these are actually shapes that I created in AutoCAD to bring over here for this example. And finding the area of these is actually very straightforward and relatively simple. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up to the measure button right up here in the measure box. We're going to drop down to area. And then we're going to come to our first shape, which is this circle right here. Now, as you can see here, I can click right here, click right here. But what we're going to do before we click on the circle is we're going to come down to the command bar. And you're actually going to be able to use this uh, quite a bit for finding the area. You're going to come down here and you're going to select object instead. What object does is give you this little pick box and you'll be able to now come here and select the object and once you select it, it gives you the measurement of the area. Now it's giving it to you in square inches. You'll have to convert square inches into square feet if that's what you're looking for, but that is the area it gives you for. So we're gonna escape here, press the escape button, and we're gonna do the same thing, come here to measure, and we're gonna come up to area, and then we're gonna do the same thing and come to object. We're gonna measure now the rectangle we have here. So we're gonna come here in the pick box, Click it, and as you can see here, the area is 315.64613 square inches on that rectangle. We're going to press escape. Now, the last object is this funky looking polygon that's just all over the place. And what we're going to do is we want to measure the area of this. Now, if I come to the area button, like we've done before, and I click on object, it doesn't let me click on that polygon. That is uh, presumably because it was created with multiple different lines and the circle and rectangle were created as regular circles and rectangles. So to get the area of this, we're going to have to do a little bit of a different uh, style of measuring the lines and selecting them. But we're going to come here and we're going to click on area. And then instead of going down to your command line this time, we are going to come over here and just start clicking on the points. So as you can see here, I'm clicking on these points. I'm going to keep clicking on all of the points of this polygon. We're going to come up, keep going, keep going, keep going, and keep going. And then once you've clicked the end point, we're going to click enter. And as you can see here down below, it's giving you the square inches or area of that specific polygon. So if you have some odd shape or you have some, again, weird polygon, you know, type fish looking thing. I don't even know if that's a fish or whatever that is, or even a triangle. You can then select all of the points to get you the area of the actual object. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video here. Again, really straightforward, really simple video. Just kind of meant to show you how to find the area in AutoCAD. This can be useful if you're given a drawing and need to uh, specify an area such as a parking lot, if you're um, into modeling or architecture. So again, very simple, straightforward to use. And if you want to see anything else, leave it down in the comments. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you all for watching.